Donald Trump went ahead with a fundraising event last night, despite White House officials knowing a close aide had tested positive for coronavirus. Mark Meadows, the White House chief of staff confirmed White House officials were made aware of Hope Hicks' positive test before the event was scheduled to take place. The president did not take part in a scheduled phone call to vulnerable senior citizens about COVID-19 this afternoon. He had been expected to take part in the call but Vice President Mike Pence said the president had asked him to lead the call in his place. Speaking to reporters outside the White House today, Mr Meadows said, In terms of Hope Hicks, we discovered that right as Marine One was taking off yesterday. We actually pulled some of the people that had been traveling and were in close contact. Close quote, Mr. Meadows was asked why he wasn't wearing a mask to deliver the briefing having been in close contact with the president this morning. He said he was more than six feet away from reporters and had tested negative for the virus. He confirmed the president was suffering mild symptoms of the virus, but that he and First Lady Melania Trump remained in good spirits. And he said he was optimistic the pair would have a speedy recovery. The fundraising event went ahead at Trump's luxury golf course in Bedminster, New Jersey, where the president was described as appearing lethargic. Mr. Meadows refused to say whether the president was being treated with any drugs specifically dodging a question about hydroxychloroquine. U.S. election 2020 the president has previously indicated he had taken the anti-malaria drug, which had been rumored to be a treatment for the virus. Studies have since shown it has no effect on COVID-19. The American people can rest assured that we have a president that is not only on the job, will remain on the job and am optimistic. That hell have a very quick and speedy recovery, Meadows told reporters at the White House. He said there would be updates on Trump's health later on Friday.